All right, guys, in this video, our electric truck Topsy is gonna to be certified, registered, insured, and made road legal. The government is now officially recognizing our truck made here in BC, and we become the first OEM manufacturer in 30 years here. So after we debuted this truck in September at the Fully Charged Show, we shipped it off to Ontario, where they spent five months working and going through this truck from an integration, an operational, a safety point of view. Does the truck work the way it should? Is the truck's operation safe? They went through all that. Then once we were happy with that, that passed its test. We shipped it back to British Columbia here, where we brought it to Matt's shop, Clawson Equipment, and they tore this truck down mechanically to go through the mechanical. Are all the parts that are DOT approved, DOT approved? Do we meet the certification? Do we meet the requirements? Is it a safe vehicle? We, once we submitted that, we were happy with that. We sent the paperwork off to the government. The government reviewed it. They sent a VIN number. We issued that VIN number on the truck. We sent the paperwork back in. Then they then sent the registration, which we took to the registration office. Did it, I, I can't get over how much paperwork it is to build a truck, but we did it. We submitted everything. It's done. We're good. Okay, so we had to choose where we're gonna run our exhaust piping on this truck. And I decided to go with a hood stack because we can. Turns out this is something we can legally do in BC. I think it's cool. It's actually right behind here, so it doesn't block the vision. And no, this isn't a production feature. On a production truck, I would probably just go with a set of stacks, like a normal truck. But for some fun to play around with, something a little different, I thought a hood stack would be cool. Maybe I'll move it later. Maybe not, but it's fun. I like it. So you guys remember Matt from the last video when we dropped Topsy off at the shop? It's been about five weeks now. And Matt, you want to tell us what we had to do on this truck to get it to the next level of inspection? What does an inspection look like? Well, first off, I mean, you had to submit quite the application even to, to get us to this point. Um, we had to do the same in order to be able to do an inspection on this truck. So to take this to that level, we went through this thing 100%. We pulled the grill off, we pulled the hood off, we inspected radiator mounts, generator to engine, we pulled all the wheels, inspected all the brakes, we customized the exhaust system, updated the steering column, we had to swap a few of the airlines around, just, you know, sizes were a little bit off, but nothing major. Um, we had to go through and stabilize the battery box. Definitely, there was quite quite the rigorous inspection. I remember looking at this truck and you're like, oh my God, is Matt's working on this thing? Like the truck was torn down. And you're like, oh my God, we're rebuilding the truck as part of the mechanical <laughs> yeah. inspection. But. Yeah, a little bit of panic there on a couple of them, but I mean, we didn't find anything to be worried about. I think we got a solid truck. The next steps are, once we did all of this inspection, all of this paperwork, Matt sent that information off. Then the government said, okay, Matt, you can put the VIN number on. We put the VIN number on, we sent off that we put the VIN number on. Yeah. Then the government then sent a registration, said, okay, take this down to the registry office. We took that down. They did up all the paperwork to create Topsy in their system with what they had. Then that gave us registration, which then gave us insurance, license plates. Guess what, Chase? We did it. We now have our registration, insurance, a license plate, which means that we can now drive Topsy on the road. It is now a legal vehicle that we have built. We did it. We built a truck that is now legally a truck. All right, got the front plate on here with zap straps. We made a nice license plate holder and then forgot it in the shop in Merritt. Uh, but hey, that gets us out of here for now. So we just built Topsy. We got a license plate on. It is absolutely incredible we did it and one of the cool things is the government is now starting to recognize edison motors today they've invited us down to the legislative assembly before we've gotten no recognition we've never gotten a single government grant a government backup this is the first time now that we've done it and we have built the first truck in bc since western star shut down their production facility in the 1990s this is one of the first trucks that has a VIN number that was made and built in British Columbia in 30 years. And we were just introduced to the Legislative Assembly to kind of highlight that fact that this is a cool thing that is happening directly here in British Columbia. It's a BC success story. It's a Canadian success story. It's really a success story for 
all blue collar workers. This is one of those times where it wasn't a billion dollar corporation coming out with an innovative idea. It was a bunch of loggers, truck drivers, mechanics that got together to, with a crazy idea to build the truck and we pulled it off. We did something that everybody told us was gonna be impossible. You'll never be able to be an OEM. Well, just the other day, we proved that we got a VIN number, we got a license plate, we did it, we made a truck that passed the test, that they got it. We have a product that we can now sell on the market. We still have a little more testing to do, but we're doing it. And like, I cannot be grateful enough for everybody's support to do this. It wouldn't be possible on our own. It was the support of everybody. When two years ago, I said, I have a crazy idea to build a truck. It was the fans that came out and said, we got your back, we're gonna help you out. It was the people that came out of the woodworks and said, hey, I'm an expert in engineering on this part, or I'm a truck mechanic, I can help you pull wrenches. I know something that can help you out. They came to help us. The fans supported us in cheering us on, getting us the success we need. Even just buying merch to help fund the project when we were getting going helped so much more than you guys realize to be able to do this. And like, this is just, such an incredible success story that we pulled this off and i i cannot be grateful enough for you guys i we did it i, I don't know what else to say but we did it we actually built a truck we did the thing we were going to do we've got a long road ahead of us but let's just take a moment to celebrate this right now it's absolutely incredible thank you thank you mr speaker i'm pleased to introduce the team from medicine motors who are visiting the legislature today we have ceo chase barber chief production officer ray matkin chief operations officer theron groff and chief technology officer eric little after passing all their tests and inspections, Edison Motors now have the first electric commercial semi-truck designed and made in BC in 30 years by a bunch of guys in a Merritt backyard who figured electric vehicles could be better produced and for less cost. Originally from Merritt, they have recently decided to relocate in Terrace instead of the United States. Please make them all very welcome. Wow, that was incredible. Mr. Speaker, BC is home to several innovative businesses that help bring prosperity to our province. Established in Merritt, BC, Edison Motors is a prime example of regular BC citizens creating an extraordinary product. I mean, look at them. They're wearing sweaties and uh, hoodies and plaid shirts and work boots. Edison raised $2.5 million by crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is raised, raising small amounts of money from large amounts of people via the internet. They went on to develop, build, and test two proto prototype hybrid vehicles which acquired their first sales. They now have 10 employees, three semi-truck contracts, and secured pre-orders from thousands of customers to help purchase a production facility in 2024. Edison Moore has also developed a retro kit retrofit kit for one ton trucks. This helps make sustainable technology accessible at a fraction of the cost of a new vehicle or electric alternative. Recently I met with Edison Motors to discuss their plans for future growth. The demand for Edison Motors products and technology is growing, which means the need for industrial land expansion. Their vision for expansion and interest in acquiring industrial land and terrace is good news as it promotes significant economic development in Skeena. If we don't support local businesses, we risk losing our homegrown innovators to the United States. Edison Motors has already been offered attractive incentives to relocate to USA. This past month, Edison Motors was rejected under the opportunity to build a hydrogen truck under the Clean Vehicle Innovation Challenge Program. But Edison Motors is not giving up. I think all of us in this house understand the importance of supporting our local businesses, especially when it comes to electrifying our BC economy. We must do all we can to keep a competitive business climate and ensure homegrown businesses like Edison Motors can afford to stay in BC and follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. It's an incredible story, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. All right, guys, so we just left Victoria, BC, and this is exciting. We're gonna go back, go see Topsy, and we get to start our on-public road testing. So we passed everything we need from a safety and a compliance point of view. Now we got to dial that truck in from an operator comfort point of view. Is the truck handling on the road the way I would expect it? So we're going to start our testing light. Uh, we're going to do some bobtail testing, do a little bit of driving around on public roads as a bobtail. Then we're going to advance that testing to 
maybe an empty trailer, and then work towards a low loaded trailer, but we're gonna do it controlled, we're gonna do it safe. I'm not just gonna put this tra truck out on a public road with 140,000 pounds right away until I know and I feel very comfortable that it is doing everything that I want it to do. Because being on a test track is not the same as being on public roads. We have to remember that other people are gonna be sharing this road and this area with Topsy and with us now. So I wanna make sure it's as safe and controlled as possible. But I'm excited. Let's go drive this truck on some public roads.